I think the early on road travel, you know, you, you just basically got your time with the guys, you know, the memories you make with your teammates along the way. Um, those are those are ones that, that usually mean most. All in all, I, I would say it's been a, a good start to the regular season. We like the way we've played. Our team game has been good. Overall, I think there's a lot of bright things happening in Winnipeg right now. Nice to be able to get some fresh air, get up, get some breakfast and, and walk over to the rink so you're not uh, still tired from sleeping when you get to, uh, to the rink. So um, it's nice to be outside. We know we, we need to be better than, than we have been in the past couple of years. And, and I think that we got to te the team to do that uh, this year. So we're, uh, we're excited for this year and, and you know this team has a lot to offer. Our special elite teams have to get better. Everybody's real proud and they want to make sure that they're doing everything they can to you know, help both units. And um, you know, we're at game nine here. We just got to continue to you know, learn from what we've done and, and get better each day with it. All the Jets are looking for is one win to jumpstart this road trip and extend their point streak in the process. Dan Robertson joined now by Nate Schmidt. Nate, just a general thought on that opening 20 minutes against the Golden Knights tonight. You know, just trying to make sure that when they come through the neutral zone, they don't get ahead of steam, trying to slow down the rush. When we're on the road, I'm the host and the play-by-play -play guy. It's totally different than what I do here in Winnipeg. It's, it's a challenge that I look forward to. When I started the job last year, I found myself kind of worrying a little bit in the second half of the first period. What am I going to do in the intermission? What questions am I going to ask? Then I thought, no, I'll just do the play-by-play -play and the other stuff will We'll figure it out when we get there. So I actually like it. It's nice to kind of catch up with the players when they're pretty much freshly off the ice like that. Thanks for this, Nate. Yeah, thank you. There goes Nate Schmidt. one nothing. the Jets trail after 20 minutes here on Jets on TSN. Yeah. Double minor to Appleton that proved to be the difference in my mind in this game. Two goals on that power play. For us to give up two goals like we did, uh, you know, line changes and and giving up odd man rushes that, you know, we didn't have to give up on those uh, on those two goals and, you know, those type of things you can control. They're in, within your own to handle, and we got to be better at that. The Jets will regroup and take on a, an Arizona team that's been surprising in a positive way so far this year. They did a really good job last year, but this is this is clearly one of the best visiting rooms. Now it's got to be in the upper five or ten in the league for sure. They have, they have a really good dressing room. Main room is really good. Good therapy room. Always like the uh, the gym area because obviously you're in Phoenix and it's outside and it's beautiful here. You're good with that video? Yeah. Yeah. Let's show we can do better. Chasing a lot. Yeah, just be fine. Hey, right here, right here. Okay, so tomorrow what you're gonna see is a swarm. Okay, anything below the hash marks, you're gonna see they're gonna try and outnumber. All right, so again, making sure we sport these areas here. Weak side rims will definitely be an option tomorrow. Every practice plan is it's it's planned for who we're playing. Uh, you know that the next game. A lot of the game is is uh, you know uh, reaction, um, but there's got to be some structure to it. And I think if you can have, have that structure, the detail, uh, the reaction, the, the players are, are, are so good nowadays. They they can they can adjust to those. Okay, hey, like we talked about, get into the coach F1. Second quick, hit the bumper, bumpered back to the D, D to D, get to the net, regroup, wide swing. Wide swing. Nice. 
They will. They will. <laughs> Hang around that area, they'll go in. You know, they're going to have their hands full with the team that, you know, you look at the standings and they're looking up at Arizona right now, so they want to take care of that today. Let's go, baby! Go, Jets, go! Go, Jets, go! All right, up front, we got Bull. Hey! hey. Happy. Hey! Lowe's. Hey! Billy Bar. Hey! Yourself. Hey! Fuck you! Hey! hey. Jets in white, Coyotes in a maroon color. Jets flying from a broadcast right to left this afternoon. McBain against Lowry to get it started. Teams come to center ice, puck is dropped, then it's showtime from Tempe, Arizona. Yeah, this is a vastly improved team from the last time that we saw Arizona Coyotes playing. Morrissey, he broke that up when a pick came back the other way and a the shot they score! Mason Appleton out in front to Nito Niederreiter. Right off that rush after a great play by Morrissey. And Winnipeg will answer and they're on the board. It's 2-1 Arizona. Well, calling a game in Mullet Arena is definitely unique. The higher you get at a hockey game, the game slows down more. The lower you get, the game and the pace is a lot faster. So you have to be on the puck and you have to be on your game. Otherwise, before you know it, the puck moves so quickly, you'll be talking about something that happened in one end and it's going in the net in the other end. Twists away from a check, got some separation, moves in, cross ice pass out in front, they score! Brendan Dillon shoveled it home and we are tied at two. I tell the guys, you know, I, I like it a lot when, when we score, but I, I love it when I score. <laughs> Bianca on the far side for Ehlers, moves in, back door, they score! Nito rider with his second of the afternoon. It's a great play by Fly to, uh, to put me, push, get the puck to me in the back door and it was easy for me to tap the home. Rebound grabbed again by Lowry into the corner. Lowry fighting off a couple of checks. Now for Appleton. Back to the line for Dylan moving in shooting. He scores! Adam's line was just buzzing all night, so they make a great play with Taffy who found me. And um, to be able to walk down Main Street like that, um, you know, us as defensemen always try to tell the forwards, hey, get us the puck. So when they finally do, we gotta make them count. And um, we was fortunate to be able to. Beyond for Dylan again. Dylan wrist shot deflected in front. And they score! And it might be Nina Nina Ryder. Like I wasn't sure if he crossed the line yet or not because I know it was so close. So I, I was like, I'm just gonna go for it. And maybe it is, it's in already, or at least we gotta go for sure. So it's usually most of the time when you go to, to the paint, that's where usually something good happens. And I'm glad it definitely worked out in the Arizona game. And it was definitely exciting for him to get a hat trick again. And the Winnipeg Jets will come back from a two-goal deficit to win this one here this afternoon, 5-3 over Arizona, and end a three-game losing skin. First of all, power play, big f***ing goal. Yeah! yeah. yeah. DK, way to get f***ing done, all right? DK, especially in that third there. Dilly. What the f***? Oh! 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 Hey, Just jump back over top of them in the f***ing third spot, boys. Way to f***ing go. Wait, wait, play wait. the right way. Great job there. I think we can go. That's them on the on the green. I don't think we're driving the green. Oh, a missile. Check, check, check. First fairway hit. <laughs> oh, One swing, all I needed. Where's the cut? Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Oh yeah, that's a ball. Hey, we got a couple of players in the group. Just good to get the mind off things and you know, there's more to life than just grinding all the time, getting the stress off, enjoying, I mean, enjoying what the NHL is all about. And then when you get to the rink the next day, you just, you just like feel refreshed. Watch your ankles. I'm gonna buzz around you. So I can get a better reading. Whoops, get that on camera. Very 
you got, you got a player on the hands. Oh, good ball. This is gonna be a swing easy. Oh, not that easy. Oh, yes, that easy. All right, Claw, don't let me down now. <laughs> Oh, I was in the heart. The Jets will head next to St. Louis, where the Minnesota Four will rejoin them after spending the weekend at home honoring the life of their good friend Adam Johnson, the hockey player who tragically passed away last weekend. That week leading up to the funeral is tough too. You know, you're on a road trip, and I think after every game. I sat by Alex I fall on the bus and we'd be in tears on some trips, but uh, we would share pictures, we would share stories, memories. Um, so little stuff like that helped a lot. How much just relief was it to have them kind of get behind you, charter you guys out there? Yeah, a huge amount of respect for them, you know. Thank, I could thank them a hundred times over. Um, yeah, I, I can't uh, thank them enough more for letting us do that and, and setting everything up for us. I think I said it earlier, it's no coincidence. I don't score that often. Um, so you go to his funeral, you speak at the funeral, and then all of a sudden you get a, a chance to score in St. Louis and you do, it's, I don't know what he's trying to tell me there, maybe thank you, but um, yeah, it was, it was no coincidence. So that was, it just a uh, wave of emotions hit me on the bench there. I don't think that's something that you just get over in a week or a month or even a year. Um, and Neil's the consummate pro to be able to score a big goal like that on the road to finish off a road trip. You know, he, he got a little, a little emotional on the bench and uh, we were all so happy for him. And the Winnipeg Jets will be victorious for their only stop in St. Louis this season tonight by a 5-2 final and finish this road trip with a 2-1 record. Did what we had to do to certainly win on Saturday and then tonight, but we got to come home with the same kind of effort. And you know, we'll take the rest. We'll you know take tomorrow off and kind of reset ourselves for Thursday. And again, a Nashville team that we got to make sure that we're ready to go.